Welcome back y'all, it's Sam with Flat Fever Fishing. I have about two to three dozen crabs left that are alive. Decided I'm gonna come out and try and strictly fill the freezer. Today is a grocery day for me. I usually catch and release, but when sheep's head are in, I like to stock the freezer and just loves them. So I like to get a couple and keep them there ready for whenever we want to grill or fry them up. Today's setup is simple. It's my G. Loomis green water. It's my seven medium. Medium fast action. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. My seven foot. I have 10 pound braid. 15 pound fluorocarbon leader with a size 2 Gamagatsu octopus hook. That's it guys. No weights, no nothing, just the crab. I've already seen a few swimming around, small ones, but hopefully there's some nice fillet sized ones. Alright, that didn't last 20 seconds in the water. That's a decent sized sheep. Oh yeah. Let me see. Mm, not bad. I think he's. I think he should be a keeper. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's a keeper all day. Nice fish. These have to be 12 inches on up to keep guys. I honestly don't like keeping them until they're 13, 14. This one's about 14 and a half, and he's real fat male, so he's going. Perfect hook set in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> Gorgeous fish. There you go. Alright boys and girls. A lot of people ask me, Sam, how do you know where the sheep sit are at? Do you see them? A lot of times, yes, I see them. A lot of times, I don't, but especially in areas like this where there's a lot of oysters, a lot of rocks, um, I know they're gonna be around. But basically, all I'm doing is pitching, trying to get in between the pilings or near them, and just letting the crab do its job. Letting the current bring it down slowly. There you go. That one landed like right on, so you just Move it a little bit, let it flutter down. As it's fluttering, the sheephead's gonna see it and start pecking at it. Just wait for the bite. Oh, little guy. Guess you gotta filter through the little ones sometimes to get big mamas. Gorgeous fish. Beautiful dark black stripes and they're purple in the face, they're gray. Beautiful. All right. First break off of the morning. It's gonna happen guys, especially while sheep's are fishing. You're going to break off multiple times. I mean, it, it's gonna happen. If you're in the spot where they're at, you're gonna break off because the crab will make its way into an oyster bar or around a piling and or the shrimp will just keep swimming and get stuck on something. Current's gonna take it, it it's gonna happen. Um, I've heard a lot of guys complain and, and moan and oh, that's why I don't go sheephead fishing because I lose a lot of terminal tackle. Well, you know guys, it's, it's the name of the game. That's why you bring extra hooks, extra leader and extra patience. If you don't like breaking off, then don't go. Simple as that. But all I'm doing is a quick uni. Right here. Bam. That's it. Quick uni. About four foot of leader. My always go to is 15 or 20 pound fluorocarbon Yozuri. The pink stuff. I'm not sponsored, not endorsed. I just really, really love this product. It's amazing. Love it especially for sheep's head fishing. What I've 
been using yesterday and today are these troll car number size two size two octopus style hooks right there that's it snell it or do a quick little uni however you want to tie it bam 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 and you're done get back to fishing all right there's a few right here in front of these rocks they just took a crab from me just now so we'll see seems like they want to bite I don't see them now I've seen them come in and out yep 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 one's on it nice one nice nice one ah uh, might be short Uh, he's a keeper, but I'm not going to take him. Thank you. Thank you. There's some nice ones. I'm sorry. I am. This one's, he's a keeper, but I like to keep him bigger. He is. Thank you. Yeah, this was one of the smaller ones of the three that I just saw. I'm just going to toss this one there, let him find his way back. Quick tip guys, when you're sheep's head fishing, especially in a, in a heavy hit area like this one is, I like to give him a lot of slack, like you see, or I leave my bail open and just keep my finger here because once they pick them up, I like to give them line, let them not feel that tension because if they feel the tension, I promise you they're going to drop it. They know something's out there, not stupid. So give them some slack, let them eat. And you'll see your line start moving. Give them a couple seconds and then set your hook. All right, so I've been here about an hour. I'd say I have caught the two keepers. I let the one go. It was a bit small for my taste. I have this big girl right here. Big guy, I should say. Big boy. I'm starting to see a lot of the, the little ones coming around and pecking at it. Um, I'm not going to sit here and waste my bait on tiny little ones. But right now it's slack tide, so I'm going to go across the bridge over there and see if I can't find another spot. It's the thing with sheep's head, you can't just sit in one spot. You, you have to move with them. You have to find them. So on that note, I'll meet you guys at the other side. All right, guys, we made it to the other side of the bridge. Um, super low tide, so I'm able to see a lot of what's going on. Um, I just saw something that's very unsettling. I'm gonna attempt to take it out right now. Big old cast net. You guys can't really see it right now, but I'll, I'll go up to it and I'll see what I can do. Look at that. Three undersized snapper, dead. No reason. Thank God it's only three and not a big old snook. Second lure. This is where it should be, not in the water. It's a nice one. Yeah, it's a nicer one. It's about time. It's taking like four or five tries.
I'm telling you, bro, they're right on them pilings. If you can go parallel to them and just drop it right there, yeah. they're there, man. I wish I was on your boat right now. I'd be hitting all the pilings. <laughs>